kick your legs up high and throw out some jazz hands. This is Art Explains. Buzz! The cheerleader effect is a psychological phenomenon that's one part optical illusion and one part evolutionary bias. Working together, they can change how attracted you are to someone. Here's what the cheerleader effect is. When a viewer looks at a group of people, he perceives each individual member of that group as more attractive than he would if he looked at any of them on their own. It's called the cheerleader effect because one of the best examples of this happening is when you line up a bunch of cheerleaders at a sports ball game. Each cheerleader looks better because there's a group of them. Which is also nice because it's hard to build a pyramid with one person. Did we spend our entire props budget on muffins again? The cheerleader effect was actually popularized in an episode of How I Met Your Mother where it might have seemed like a joke at the time, but it's actually a real thing. But of course, it isn't just cheerleaders. This effect can work for men, women, and perhaps even animals. So, what's going on here? Well, first our eyes lie to us a little bit. When a group of anything is viewed, our brains process the grouped items together. One of the best examples of this is the Ebbinghaus illusion. Take a look at these two groups of dots. Which of the center dots appears larger? They are the same size. But because the objects around each center circle are different, our brains interpret them differently. Let's try something else. Pay close attention to the screen. Eyes on me. Three, two, one. Okay, how many squares did you see? Six. Nope. What? But I counted them while you were making them. Yeah, but you're still wrong. There were no squares. There were no squares? There were no squares. Whoa. Here they are again. Notice anything you didn't see before? That's right, they're all rectangles. When you only had a moment to look, your brain made an assumption from looking at the whole rather than the individuals. Okay, now stare at the center shape for a while and notice how the shapes around it all start to look identical. Squint a little to make the effect more pronounced. That's another example of how your brain averages what you see. These optical illusions are related to the cheerleader effect. So when you look at that line of cheerleaders, your brain is smoothing over any perceived imperfections in the faces by averaging them together. But here's a good question. Why does this make all of the faces appear more attractive? Wouldn't averaging them make the more attractive one look worse by comparison? Hey! Uh, relax, you're the attractive one. You're darn tootin'. Like when you average two numbers, one goes up but the other goes down? The answer to this is the other half of the puzzle. People find body averages and bodily symmetry, or looking the same on both sides, inherently attractive. Even the most good-looking people have little idiosyncrasies from one side of the face to the other, or little imperfections that could be improved by averaging them out across other faces. One evolutionary theory behind our attraction to averageness and symmetry is that lopsided-looking people historically tended to be less healthy than their symmetrical-looking peers. Whether it was a cancerous growth, a limp, or even a missing limb, it tended to indicate less than perfect health. And mating with someone with less than perfect health tended to be a poor survival strategy a long time ago in the untamed wilds. Fortunately today, a lack of symmetry tends to be less of a death sentence. There are other theories as to why symmetry is inherently attractive, but regardless as to why, it is a very deeply hardwired preference that can be seen even in some other animals, such as zebra finches. Interestingly, this preference for symmetry might be one of the reasons why so many hairstyles and facial hairstyles are symmetrical. They inherently look better that way. And that might be why the single mutton chop look never took off. Hey there! Come back, I have a pool! This effect isn't strong enough that hanging out with a bunch of people will automatically make you into a hunky Adonis or anything, but there is at least one online practical application. When uploading a picture to a social media or a dating site, you get bonus attractiveness points for uploading a picture of you with a group of friends rather than a picture of you by yourself. Not only does the cheerleader effect come into play, but by showing yourself in the company of others, it gives the viewer the impression that you are a warm and social person. If that's what you're going for. Can you think of any further applications for this effect? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Play me off, Lucy! Hey everybody, Lucy here. Thanks for watching Art Explains. If you want more, be sure to click subscribe to keep up with the latest episodes. But if you want to watch more episodes right now, there are some links up on the screen for you. See you next time!